In campaign 2012, a presidential candidate from Texas is picking up steam, and we're not talking about Rick Perry. KHOU 11 News reporter Gabe Gutierrez sat down with Ron Paul this afternoon to see whether Congressman is finally getting some attention. Congressman Ron Paul is no stranger to presidential campaigns. The driving force has always been personal liberty. But his signature is all over this one. These views are now becoming mainstream. The grandfather from Lake Jackson is running for president for the third time. But Paul surprised many when he finished a close second in the Republican Iowa straw poll earlier this month. A recent Gallup poll puts him just two percentage points behind President Obama. And he raised almost $2 million this past weekend on his 76th birthday. I didn't think we'd be this far along in converting the country to the views I've expressed. Those controversial views may be why the media has mostly ignored him. You can hold the Ron Paul stuff. <laughs> A point amplified by comedian John Stewart. How did libertarian Ron Paul become the 13th floor in a hotel? After all, Paul does not fit the Republican mold. He wants to pull American troops out of all military conflicts. If elected, he says he'd abolish the Federal Reserve and even wipe out the federal income tax. You can't get rid of the income tax unless you get rid of all the spending. But people think it's bizarre, but did we have one before 1913? <laughs> Paul strongly opposed raising the nation's debt ceiling. That does put him more in line with his newest presidential rival, Texas Governor Rick Perry. But despite their long political careers in the same party. Have you ever actually met Rick Perry? I have not. You have not? I have not met him. To so, my memory, I mean, it's always possible you, you could have shaken hands, but I do not recall having ever met him or talk, had a conversation. Yet Paul and Perry embraced the Tea Party early on. Each candidate hopes to ride that anti-Washington anger straight to the White House. Time will tell. Paul says he won't seek another term in Congress to focus on his presidential bid. So what happens if he doesn't win? I used to run a lot of track, and uh, the one thing I didn't think about is, is the end of the race and whether I come in first, second, or third, and wh where do I go or what do I do? I run real hard to win, and sometimes I win, sometimes I don't, but at the end of the race, I'll make a decision. And that race continues for the man some call the Rodney Dangerfield of presidential politics. No respect. Well, Paul is spending a few more days in Lake Jackson before heading off to New Hampshire and Iowa. We'll post more of our interview along with this story on our website. I'm Gabe Gutierrez, KHOU 11 News.